A confidential internal affairs investigation is now underway for an officer involved in the case of accused murderer Brian Koberger. And according to experts, that could mean good news for Koberger's defense. Koberger was arrested late last year for the murders of four University of Idaho students who were stabbed to death in their off-campus home. He's now being held in the Latah County Jail in Idaho, awaiting his preliminary hearing. In newly released court documents filed on Monday, Idaho prosecutors have, quote, become aware of potential Brady-Giglio material related to one of the officers involved in the above-referenced case. The material, in the form of confidential internal affairs investigation, is hereby submitted in camera to the court. What all that means is prosecutors are required by law to turn any information over to the defense that could exonerate the defendant, help their case, or impeach the credibility of a witness. As Long Crime Network host Jesse Weber explained on Dan Abrams Live, this could mean several things. An officer involved in the investigation could have lied or withheld evidence, meaning it could get thrown out. On a lesser scale, the officer may have had a pattern of misconduct in the past, but prosecutors have to disclose that information to the defense ahead of an eventual cross-examination. Right now, the case is under seal, so we don't have exact details about what happened. The prosecution has also asked the judge to issue a protective order on that information, which would then block the defense from releasing the information publicly. It alleges that the defendant, Brian C. Koberger, on or about November 13th of 2022, in Latah County, State of Idaho, did unlawfully enter a residence located at 1122 King Road, Moscow, with the intent to commit the felony crime of murder. Meanwhile, some reports say Koberger is closely following his case from behind bars, watching himself on TV. But Long Crime Network host and public defender Brian Buckmeyer says that's not unusual. I think it's very normal for someone to follow their case if it's highly publicized. They want to see what everyone's talking about what they're saying about their personal life as well as about the case. It's it's like checking Instagram or your Facebook to see what people are, are tagging you in or, or saying about you. Other reports say Koberger is being held in maximum security away from all other Latah County Jail inmates. According to News Nation, Koberger has lost a significant amount of weight while behind bars, though he does have access to a TV and one hour of outside time per day. Some reports also say Koberger has private prayer services with a religious leader. It is unsurprising for someone to find religion while in prison or in jail. Just like I would say it's unsurprising for someone to find religion when they're diagnosed with cancer or with a severe disease. It's, I think, the person seeing their own mortality and the difficulty of their situation and looking for an answer. News Nation also reports Koberger's two sisters, Amanda and Melissa, were both fired from their jobs after his arrest. The network reports Melissa worked as a mental health therapist and Amanda was a working actress. None of the family have visited Koberger in Idaho since his arrest, but News Nation also reports they speak via phone. Koberger is due back in court on June 26 for a preliminary hearing that's expected to last multiple days. According to Idaho law, after that hearing, Koberger will then enter a plea in the murders. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.